In this showcase, we've got some really extraordinary things held by the National Library of Australia. We've got documents that show us how a book was published in London in 1784. Now the book is the official account of Cook's last voyage and what we have basically are papers that come from Joseph Banks who project managed the publication of that book. The manuscripts show you the ins and outs of the negotiations that had to happen. We have you know, many lists that show you how much things cost, who worked on the book. So on the right hand side we have one of my favourite things which is a list of who got three free copies of the official voyage account. Those people included people who had worked on the book, the editor, um, Joseph Banks himself only gave himself one copy which is very restrained. Um, we have people who worked on the maps, then we also have people like um, the King, George III, um, his Queen, um, the Prince of Wales, the future of George IV, the Empress of Russia who was Catherine the Great and the King of France who is Louis XVI. Now that Louis XVI was the one who was beheaded um, in the 1790s um, in the French Revolution. So, um, so it's really fascinating. Basically we know that obviously Cook was killed in Hawaii on the 14th of February 1779 and um, this voyage account took a lot of work to bring out. Not only was the main author dead, but also the man who took over from Cook was dead as well. Um, there was a lot of extraordinary material that um, they had to draw on. There were wonderful drawings um, and illustrations by John Weber. And John Weber was quite you know, heavily involved in the publication of the voyage account. He was the official artist on that voyage. Um, so it was something where a lot of people came together to make this book, which we see at the centre, happen. The final book actually had three um, main volumes and an atlas volume which had not only um, illustrations at greater size but also maps. So basically the library's collections really can give you a sense of all the behind the scenes action that had to happen to make this happen.